All right, we're gonna start with this home screen and you'll just see kind of a picture of your keyboard. And this is actually the screen where we can program each of the individual keys if we want to remap them for a different function or if you want to program your macro keys here on the side. So we'll start with the macro keys. This is usually what people would program um, unless there's some reason you'd like to you know, reprogram your, your uh, other keys over here. You can definitely do that, but uh, we'll just, as an example, do the macro keys. So when you click on one of the keys, you get this menu um, of items that you can select from. And pretty much all of these items you can uh, map to this key. So default um, just resets it. So if you get through doing one of these uh, programming functions or assigning the key to a certain function, you can always click default and it will just kind of delete it and, and put it back how it was at the beginning. Um, if you click keyboard, this just allows you to um, have any key press for the rest of your keyboard. Like let's say we wanted to um, have the delete key pressed um, for this M1 key. We just press delete on our keyboard, click okay, and now this macro key is programmed to be delete. So you don't have to reach all the way across your keyboard and click it over there. Um, mouse function, this can be anything that, uh, any button that is on your mouse, like a left click, or if you have multiple buttons on your mouse, you can select those here and uh, just have you know, access to them, quick access, access to them through the macro keys um, if that's useful. Um, the next option is macro. And I'll get into that at the end here. Macro just allows you to select one of the pre-programmed macros that you've run. So if you have a complex combination of key presses and whatnot, um, and you've saved it, then you'll be able to select it from the drop down here. I will show you how to uh, set up those macros so that you actually have you know options that show up there. Next option is uh, combo key. This is kind of like macro, but it's like a very simple version of it. You can do up to three key presses here. So let's say I wanted to do uh, control C. So the copy command, I could just type control and then C and it will do them in succession. So now pressing this M1 key will be the same as if I pressed uh, control C. Run program. Here you can select um, any program that you want to bring to the front of the screen. So you just select the path to the exe file on your computer. Um, you do need to have the program running in the background. So if it's running like in your cache, um, such as like just some kind of background app. Um, programming this will allow you to just push a button and it'll bring it to the forefront. Um, so just put the path to wherever the exe file is on your computer and uh, that should work for you. Next option is multimedia. And this is just what it sounds like. Any of the volume controls or skip ahead or uh, previous track, anything as if you're you know listening to Windows Media Player or Spotify or any window, um, any media, you can use uh, these controls just to uh, control your media player and program to the macro keys. And then lastly, you have the Windows hotkeys. These are ones that are just built into Windows for uh, very common uh, functions like cut, copy, paste, close application, switch application, um, any of those Windows functions that are available to you, uh, you can just program them here to directly go to you know one of the macro keys. Um, so now it's programmed to cut, um, just using the windows hotkey. So you can do that for any of these 10 macro keys, as well as any other key on the keyboard. If for some reason you do want to actually switch, you know, the functionality of these, uh, most folks usually just program the macro keys, but, um, anyways, the whole keyboard is available to you if you do want to reprogram it.